welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be taking a look back at my old artwork. I've done two previous episodes of this. In the last one I did year 8 and year 9 sketchbooks. So today, obviously that would imply I'm doing year 10. But I've lost that book, so we're going to go into year 11, which is like, you know, proper GCSE shit. And yeah, let's just start. Okay, so for the first topic we had like a list of options. And one of those options was animals. I can't remember any of the others. And yeah, that's the one I chose. First page is drawings. And I think these are actually all right. I think I started with the chameleon eye. And then like, yeah, like at the end, I filled it in with the crocodile and the cheetah or leopard. I don't know, some kind of spotty cat. So yeah, they are actually all right. I think I should kind of just enjoy this feeling at the moment before we turn on to the absolute shit on the rest of the pages. Something good was in this book. Just remember that. Okay. okay, so the next thing was these frogs, still showing you the book, don't know why. Um, a big ass frog and a little tree frog, I really like the little tree frog. It's not good, I should really like it, it's got a really cool pose. Uh, yeah, not a good follow up page to the start, but not too bad, I'm not going to completely slag it off. Unlike this, um, this parrot is f***ing awful, the feathers are awful. It's okay if you're like 24 metres away from it, probably looks kind of realistic, but, but no. Um, there's also this little bird that's kind of sketchy. I don't mind that because it's sketchy. Okay, so this was actually an artist page. Uh, if you don't know the structure of Art GCSE, you do. You need artists that like inspire your work throughout the book. This was one of them. His name was Leroy Neiman. And yeah, you have to do like an artist copy. So that's what this little zebra thing here is. It's just like a section of an original painting. So yeah, you have to just write stuff that you like about them or stuff that you don't like about them if you want. Um, and yeah, this, this handwriting is quite neat. Um, almost too neat. Almost as if I didn't write it. Hmm, how strange. <laughs> okay, so here's the next page with my actual writing on it. So the first one was like an inspired by, so you do an artist copy and then you do like a piece inspired by their work. So I did this wolf. I stuck carpet to it so it's very strokeable, um, just like regular wolves. Um, please don't actually stroke wolves, you will die. Sorry for that bad advice. Uh, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of this. I'll leave it at that. I also did this, it's like an eagle hawk thing. Wow, that was a really cool switch around there. It's also like this eagly hawk thing, eagly hawk. Yeah, I prefer this one, it's still not very good, very flat looking, uh, but yeah, I think I think the teachers liked it, so would you do. Okay, so the next is another artist page. Uh, this guy was like a graffiti artist called CES53. Apparently I liked his work back then. Uh, I did a little spray can here, because I wanted to decorate the page. I guess you could class that as an inspired by. Okay, so here's the actual inspired by, it's a lion. I mean, it's weird, a lot of this work, I don't think it's bad, I just look at it and it's like... Meh. The one thing I do really like about this is the Zeds that's coming out the lion's mouth when it's yawning. A zebra print. I was a child genius and everybody knew it. Okay, so the next thing, I used to get really inspired to just do stuff whenever, like, I wouldn't be asked to do anything, I would just do it. And um, this was one of those things. I went absolutely insane with this. Um, just, it's because I went to the safari park and I fed a zebra and zebras just instantly became one of my favourite animals because it was like, wow, I love you, come home with me. And I actually started planning um, on buying a zebra at the time. I was looking up how expensive they were. Not very, actually. Um, well, can, they are kind of expensive, but not considering the fact that you'd literally own a zebra. Um, I'd be nice to it. I would have a lot of land for it and friends, I would buy friends. Um, so yeah, I have these like balloons with letters on them, a cloud with like raining colour. Shapes like colourful Doritos or something. Um, I really like this like spacey thing I did here. This was actually something I was supposed to do even though I didn't think it was at the time. Well, yay me. This next thing is just an absolute train wreck and it's attached to the back of the thing I really like so it annoys me even more. It was supposed to be a snake's eye with Flying animals, land animals and underwater animals with a sunset, like green forest and blue water and it was supposed to kind of like blend together and fade in and look really cool. It didn't work, clearly. But yeah, I did this really stupid thing where I put scales on scales. So I made like scaly scales. Go home, James. You're f***ing drunk. Okay, this is a page I really like. I feel like I have to show it double, um, just because they're kind of related. This hawk thing over here, I was obsessed with, I loved it. I actually kind of still want a tattoo of it. I think I could get the face on my chest and like all that crazy shit could just fly off down my arm. I still like the idea of it, but we'll see. Now this green bird, 
we have a very close relationship because this is one of the first things I ever did in life that turned out exactly how I pictured it in my head. Like, obviously I wasn't picturing an amazing work of art, but it's just the fact it came out exactly how I pictured it, I was amazed. But then I ruined it by adding this stupid blackboard around the edge. So well done me. Okay, this here was another thing I did just like, with no reason. I was doing this not even to go in my book. This was just something I was doing for no reason. Um, I actually copied this top part off a picture on Google. Sorry, whoever the original artist is. But it wasn't supposed to go in my book, so at the time it was fine, um, but then I did. So I, I do feel bad about that, because this actually ended up in the final piece. Like, I'm sorry. But yeah, I just really liked it, so I put it in. Um, there's also this guy down here. Oh my God, I love this guy. It's a little hippo frog giraffe thing. I love it. I might actually one day take that out and put it somewhere in my room just because I love it so much. It's just so cute. Here's another thing, absolutely awful. I did this tiger and it was in like the ripped paper but the paper was plain originally. Um, and then I was like, actually, I should do rainbow zebra print over the top of that. That would be such a good idea. No, James, it wasn't a good idea. You ruined it. And yeah, I left it in even though I knew I hated it and I could have easily just ripped it off. I could still, I could rip it off now if I wanted to. The one thing about leaving shit like this in your book is you have to say that you don't like it if you don't like it because otherwise they're gonna think you do like it and if it's shit, they're gonna think this guy's shit. Remember that, pro tip. Okay, so here's just the very final design. Um, this is exactly what it was ended up looking like, just a bit shitter, a lot shitter, because um, it was massive, uh, but yeah. Very happy with this, got these little animal things again, like the original zebra, and I've got another inky bird there. This entire final piece is kind of just inspired by that random zebra thing I did in the middle of my book, so not really inspired by my artists, inspired by myself. So I guess I saw myself as a better artist than them. Haha. <laughs> I even made my own barbed wire. So yeah, that's it for that book. Let's just look at the actual final piece, because Um. Okay. Ugh. Okay, so it's quite big, like very big. Um, like I said, just pretty much an exact copy of that thing you saw, just a lot shitter. Um, a lot of things missing. I didn't even finish the little animals at the top, which pissed me off so much. There was a rubber duck here that I painted orange, but he's fell off. I gave him a sombrero that I survived. But yeah, not very good. Done with that. Um, one thing, oh my gosh, rose from the bed like Nosferatu. One thing that that topic taught me was time management. I, I don't think after this kind of year, I ever didn't finish a piece of work again. I think there's maybe a couple things in this like other book, but yeah, I it pissed me off so much knowing that wasn't finished that I never really did it again. But yeah, that's it for this week's video. If you like the video, like the video. If you like me, subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye. Hmm, well, I think I'm like a mixture of Number three and four, so like the long hair, the big belly of four, and the, the boobs. And there's also this little bird that's kind of sketchy. I don't mind that because it's sketchy. I'll give you a past little burge. Burge? Burgey? Are you a burgey birdie? No.